All right, so uh, Alexander Gustafson, or Gustafson, however you say that, he's going to be fighting. He's going to be coming back from his retirement to he at heavyweight against Fabricio Verdun July 25th on Fight Island. That's going to be the same card as uh, Robert Whitaker versus Darren Till. I think they're headlining that that card on June tw July 25th. You know. Uh I didn't see Alex's last fight, his retirement fight against uh, Anthony Smith. Obviously they they talked about that for the build up for the fight night between Smith and uh, Glover Teixeira. I did watch that for I did watch that fight though. Not when I watched it, it wasn't during the uh it wasn't last year. I watched it for research for Anthony Smith for that fight against Teixeira. Uh as far as my thoughts on it, it's kind of uh It makes me a little cautious, in a, in a way, because fighters that retire and then they come back after retirement, historically it doesn't end well for those fighters. It doesn't go great for those fighters, unless your name's uh, Randy Couture, uh, when he came back from his first retirement against Tim Sylvia for the heavyweight belt and won it. Um, but, you know, I watched the uh, Megan O'Leary interview with Dana White and it makes sense what he was saying about, you know, you get burned out, you know, the fighters getting burned out from, from the... Uh, from all the obligations a fighter has to go through and you know the trials and tribulations of being a fighter plus uh life in general which not everyone else is is seeing the life of those fighters at home and and whatnot so i mean robert whitaker talked about you know, going through some stuff during that whole time before the fight with Adesanya and then afterward. You know, he's talking about being, he felt burnt out and that he needed time off. And that might do him well in his fight against Till. So maybe that's the thing going for that was happening to Guff, Gustafson. As far as how the fight matches up, um, I think it's it's a good comeback fight for Gustafson, as long as he doesn't get taken down. But you know, the only guys that take that have taken him down are world, or you know, is a world class wrestler in Daniel Cormier, who is shorter, a lot shorter than a uh, Verdum, and uh, John Jones. And that's really uh, Verdum's only bet. It's hard for me to remember Verdum's name for some reason. But that's really his only bet is to take the fight to the ground. This is going to be probably the fastest, if not one of, I, I think definitely the fastest fight of Verdum's ever fought. Besides maybe Fedor. But the footwork that Gustafson has, the angles that he he punches from, I think it's going to give Verdun problems. Um, it's a little bit of an early prediction on that fight. I just want to get my thoughts out there on it. I hope you know. I just I just hope it's a great fight. Let me know what you guys think about this fight in the comments below. Um, may, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, 
and subscribe because I have a bunch more content on here and I got more content coming. So uh, till then, we'll see you.